What's up guys? I want to show you how to download and set up ESLint. Now specifically I'm going to show you how to get it set up with the Airbnb style because it's not as easy as ESLint makes it out to be. Because there's this nice tool that ESLint has, it's a command line where you can just run ESLint init and it'll set up Basically, it, it makes it look like it sets everything up, but it actually does it. And I'll show you what's going on. But first, you want to run npm install dash g eslint if you have not have the eslint command line tool. I already have this, so I'm good to go. And I am cd'd into my project. My project's called Linting, and it's my React application. And I would like to set up uh, eslint with Airbnb style here. So go ahead and run this if you haven't. I already have, so I'm not going to run it. And then after that, I'm just going to do an ls to show you guys what's in my directory right now. So package.json, um, node modules, you know, it's a React application, and dot get ignore. But there's no dot eslint rc, which basically tells you, you know, it's the rules for linting. So, but if we run eslint init, it'll step us through creating, setting up, configuring our ESLint. So for me, I want to use a popular style guide and I want to choose Airbnb. You can choose a different one if you want to, but I really like Airbnb. And we are using a React application. And uh, I'm going to set up with JavaScript. And that last step is you could pick a different one. It doesn't really matter. It's whatever you prefer editing. And as you can see, it's going to now install these five plugins into uh, our package.json. Well, I guess there's more packages. But you'll notice there's this little warning. ESLint uh, has a peer, a required peer, but it was not installed. Um, and But you know, notice it says it's successful down here. And if I were to say, just open up vim.eslintrc, this is a new file it creates for us, I can see that there's some good stuff here. It ex this is all good and nice. This is our configuration file for linting. You want to change stuff here if you want to change how it works. And if I were to go into package.json, what I could do is I could create two new scripts here. The first is lint. Well, I'm just going to create one actually. Um, and it could run eslint on source. So if I save that, I can then do eslint run lint. And it'll actually lint the project, right? And look, it looks well and good. It has these problems. It shows up, and it tells me what they are, right? And I can go and fix them one by one, right? Well, it's not quite working like you think. That peer dependency it was talking about earlier is actually a big deal. So I'm just going to open this project up in Visual Studio Code, and we can get rid of release notes. Um, and I have this set up with an ESLint plugin. So if I just open up app.js we can see it'll actually show me what ESLint problems are. And wow, everything is red. This looks like a fine React though. And if I hover over some stuff, it'll say JSX href not no hash. Hover over here, same thing, same thing. And this error href no hash has actually nothing to do with it. That actual error is when you have an href tag that looks like this or something, right? And you leave the href blank or something, or you don't even put an href for an anchor tag, which we're not doing that anywhere. There's not even an anchor tag on this. So something else is going on, and it's missing. What's happening is this project's actually missing some dependencies that it needs. So to fix this, if you actually go to eslint config Airbnb package, it actually tells you this. That there's actually, you, you, you shouldn't install it the way we just did. Uh, instead, if we run this command here, it'll actually tell you what peer dependencies this project needs. So these are the peer dependencies that Airbnb needs. So that means for Airbnb to run, it needs these dependencies, which we actually have. If we are going to package.json, you'll notice we have all of these, except they're different versions, and that's the problem. So you can see here, but we have ESLint 4, and we actually have newer packages of, of I think, most of them. 
and that's the problem. They're too new and they're not, they don't work well together. So we actually have to install the older versions of these for them to actually work. So how do we do that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. You can just do npm install and do save dev and go through each one and do eslint at and then you want to do the same thing you see here 3.9.0 and you can go through and do this for each one right jsx ally 5.1.1 and I can go through and do this for each one but what's nice is if you come to this page which I'll link in the description there's this nice little command you can run for Linux and uh, Mac users which will just do it for you. Windows guys, they have another one you can use or you can just type it out like I was showing you before. But if I go ahead and run this, it'll install these packages at these versions and it'll actually work for us. And we can get the nice ESLint uh, linting with Airbnb styles. Because I'm actually a big fan of the ES, uh, Airbnb styles. It looks really nice in my opinion. So now I'm gonna close this project and reopen it again and see what it looks like with the new version of what we just have. So it hasn't loaded yet. It takes one second to boot up the ESLint server, but when we do, we'll notice now there's only two red lines. And if we come over this, this actually makes sense. It says our component should be a peer function. So now if we wanted to, we could say const app is equal to and we could just do that, right? Making it a pure function. And now we can see an error went away, but now we have a new one because this is an undefined variable. We can get rid of that. And then we can look at where our problem is here. It says JSX isn't allowed. And we could go through now our ESLint errors and fix our project because now we know uh, we're actually getting good errors. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope that helped. Um, this ESLint file is not anything special, this RC. If you want to see uh, some of my RCs, what they look like, I recommend looking at some of my GitHub projects with JavaScript. I have some good uh, ESLint RC files that you can go off of. And I'll put a link to my GitHub in the description below so you can go check that stuff out. So that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.